Welcome to DC Digital Learning. This is BSc Mathematics Real Analysis class, and in this class, we are going to discuss Weierstrass mean value theorem. Recall mean value theorems of integral calculus. There are two mean value theorems of integral calculus, namely first mean value theorem and second mean value theorem. Recall second mean value theorems of integral calculus. There are two forms of second mean value theorems of integral calculus, namely Bonnet's mean value theorem and Weierstrass mean value theorem. Weierstrass mean value theorem. This form of mean value theorem is due to German mathematicians Weierstrass and Raymond. Let us recall Bonnet mean value theorem first. If j of x belongs to Riemann integrable functions on closed interval AB and f of x is monotonic and non negative on closed interval AB, then for some j or eta belongs to closed interval AB, integral of f of x into j of x dx from a to b equals f of a times integral of j of x dx from a to j or f of b times integral of j of x dx from eta to b according as f of x is monotonically non-increasing or non-decreasing on closed interval a b. Now we will state and prove Weierstrass form of second mean value theorem. Weierstrass mean value theorem. If j of x belongs to Riemann integrable functions on closed interval a b and f of x is monotonic on closed interval a b then for some j belongs to closed interval a b integral of f of x into j of x dx from a to b equals f of a times integral of j of x dx from a to j plus f of b times integral of j of x dx from j to b. Proof Let f of x be monotonically non-increasing so that f of x minus f of b is monotonically non-increasing and non-negative on closed interval a b. Therefore, by Bonnet's mean value theorem, there exists a number j belongs to closed interval a b such that integral of f of x minus f of b times g of x dx from a to b equals f of a minus f of b times integral of g of x dx from a to j which implies integration of f of x g of x dx from a to b minus f of b times integration of g of x dx from a to b equals f of a times integration of g of x dx from a to j minus f of b times integration of g of x dx from a to j on rearranging the terms which implies integration of f of x g of x dx from a to b equals f of a times integration of g of x dx from a to j minus f of b times integration of g of x dx from a to j plus f of b times integration of g of x dx from a to b on regrouping which implies integration of f of x g of x dx from a to b equals f of a times integration of g of x dx from a to j plus f of b times integration of g of x dx from j to a plus f of b times integration of g of x dx from a to b which implies integration of f of x into g of x dx from a to b equals f of a times integration of g of x dx from a to j plus f of b times integration of g of x dx from j to b which is required result. In case f of x be monotonically non-decreasing 
then the result is immediately follows by considering minus f of x hence weierstrass mean value theorem this completes the proof that's all in this video thank you